Aaron, the team was playing behind in this one from the jump. What do you make of that first inning? Yeah, rough. I mean, we didn't play well early in this game. Feel like we kind of righted the ship and steadied a little bit and, and competed well and had a lot of good at bats as the game went on. Cody obviously came in and did a really nice job for us, giving us some length. Um, you know, but yeah, yeah. obviously they found some holes there in that, you know, off a of, off of stroke. They kept finding the holes starting with the first at bat of the game. I thought he made a good pitch to Henderson, kind of jammed him and and, you know, he's able to beat it with his speed. Uh, they found some holes. Uh, we didn't make a play, although we ended up getting it out on the on the fly ball down the line. So um, just didn't play real well early um, and, and couldn't quite get back in it. Should Dominguez, in your mind, have caught that ball? Yeah, that's a play. I mean, look, it's going to the line here like that off a lefty where the ball's slicing and it's a windy night. I mean, it's that's that's challenging chance um you know but but one you know we got to make two um but but definitely that's probably as tough as one as you're going to get um with that lefty slicing it towards the line with the wind kind of doing some things too he had a couple couple tough plays on balls in seattle another one tonight just how big of a concern is he in left field yeah as you move forward here yeah i mean he's he's you know he's missed some plays that you know he should make um i liked how he moved after that ball like he he didn't seem uptight or anything i thought he ranged for a couple balls caught some balls easy again on a windy night so it was good to see him bounce back from that and not have the carryover you know but there has been a couple plays that you know obviously we got to make brian gary do you see this as a debate in your mind is it Dominguez's offense versus Verdugo's defense How, when you're looking ahead here? Yeah, I mean, just you, kind of trying to take it all in, um, you know, and what what gives you the best chance to win on a given night and, uh, you know, trying to obviously get give a good look to Jason here down the stretch, you know, is, um, you know, we know he's capable out there. Um, I've, you know, I th- feel like he's been given some good at bats of late. So, you know, we'll continue to pay attention to all of it. Gary. Understanding that Jason's play didn't help and Marcus was starting, you know, on a bit short notice. Just what did you think of him tonight and his stuff? Yeah, I thought the stuff was OK. Even like <clears throat> talking to Wellesley after the first and second inning, it's like he's he's actually stuff is good and making some pitches again. Um, you know, I mean, they put the ball in play against them, so. But they were, you know, they were finding holes, you know, throughout. And I, you look up and they got seven hits. We're able to limit some of it, get out of some jams there. Um, you know, even on the ball that, that fell out there and left with, with down the line, you know, we were able to get an out on that play, even though it netted them a couple runs. So, um, you know, just overall, maybe not totally sharp and, and you know, maybe a little fatigue there towards the end. But, um you know, they found some holes, a couple plays, you know, didn't bounce our way. His recent save aside, you know, he had a really strong first half. He's had a tougher time in the second half. Have you seen any through line through his second half performance? Um, I feel like it's close. You know, I feel like, you know, he went through that stretch stretch there where he's, you know, getting himself into trouble off the plate, um, you know, probably – probably creating some traffic for himself. Um, feel like he's rebounded and had some good outings for us. Um, thought he threw the ball well in Seattle and in, in, in picking up the save. And again, you know, tonight might, you know, going on one day's notice, um, you know, and having not been out there and, and because he is a starter, you know, having not been out there for whatever it's been eight, nine days, whatever now, um, you know, that may have affected him a little bit, but, I, I didn't think he was far off from from what what he normally is, and and just talking to Austin, you know, during the game, thought stuff was good. Uh, Zach, sorry. Oh, sorry. Right here in the back left, in the back here. All things considered, how important is it for that to get that offensive outburst in the ninth and possibly carry it over into tomorrow? I, I thought throughout the game, I thought we kept giving good at bat. So, you know, look. On a night, you know, we, everyone wants to win and get it done and whatever. You know, I, I feel like 
and being a little sloppy early, I thought we kind of settled ourselves a little bit. And I thought even in innings where we didn't score, we were still given really competitive at bats, you know, made them go to some high leverage guys there at the end. You know, they've been using their bullpen a lot. So I, I thought the compete, the focus was there throughout. And, you know, we almost gave ourselves a chance to, to tie that game in the end. And, and I think it was a result of a lot of guys giving competitive at-bats throughout the night. And then Cody, of course, you know, giving us some length there uh, where he kept the line, kept it at bay. Aaron, with the magic number at one, you know, with five, six games to go, what is, how do you balance the, the disappointment of not clinching it when you have an opportunity but knowing you still have so many more chances to do it? It's the game, man. I mean, it's, you know, nothing's been easy for us this year. Um, you know, shouldn't expect it to be now. Um, but we've, we've, we've kind of persevered and, and kind of grinded our way through all of it. And uh, I feel like even in this game, same way, and we'll be ready to go tomorrow. And, you know, got Garrett going. They, they obviously got Burns going, who's been throwing really well for them lately. Um, so I know it's going to be a real competitive game. And, um you know, hey, that's that's 2024 for us. Like a lot of ways, it's been an outstanding year so far, but it's been a challenge too, and and it has not been easy. And uh, you know, coming home here hasn't been easy to start, but uh, looking forward to tomorrow. To the right, Brendan. Wells is pretty hot after the All Star break. Uh, it seems to have cooled down a bit lately. Just what are you seeing from his at bats? Baseball hitting you know it's hard you know he's thought he hit a ball well to left i thought he had a a, a good walk mixed in within there tonight um competitive at bat there at the end where saw a lot of pitches so i don't i really don't think he's far off um you know hit, just missed the ball to right center where the wind's blowing in kind of you know volpe hit that ball down the line that on normal nights probably a home run so and, and Wells, he just missed that one to right center, maybe the second to last at bat. So, you know, a tick off, but maybe not far either.